Okay, welcome to day five. This is press on day, aka the day where you learn how to do an instant mani. So I have chosen Pink Sands. This is one of my favorite colors in polish and I've chosen it in the short round shape. So our press on nails come in four different shapes squoval, round, oval, and almond, and they also come in four lengths, extra short, short, medium, and long. So basically, you can always choose to have whatever perfect mani you want at any time. Everything you need is in this package. You can open it up and take everything out, and then I'll tell you all about it. The Instant Mani is the realest fake nails you've ever seen, and part of how we achieved that is we created 21 different sizes. So we are able to give you the best realist looking fit possible. So the first thing you wanna do is open up the manual because we always read the directions. If you ever get lost or stuck, just refer back to this or check out Boot Camp on our website. A couple of cool things to note here. Once you find your sizes, which I'll go into in a minute, you can always write them down on this handy sheet. I like to take a picture of this and keep it as a favorite in my phone so that I always know what my sizes are because once I found my sizes once, I never have to change them. So, super helpful. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find my sizes. The way that you do that is take the nail, the base of the nail has the ampersand and the tip of the nail has the size. What you wanna do is basically try on a nail, gently push down, and if you get good coverage of your entire nail without the nail digging into the sides and without there being too much of a gap, that's your perfect size. So this is good for my thumb. For example, if I picked up this one for my thumb, you can see it's already going into the sides of my skin there and I haven't even pushed it down all the way. So this one's gonna to be too big. Whereas this nail, if I slide it on, doesn't even cover my full nail. So this one would be too small. So I'm going to try this one. Next, you're going to shape and prep your nails. If you are wearing a press-on style that is shorter than the length of your natural nails, you're gonna to wanna to file your nails down just to make sure your natural nail doesn't peek out from the top. Then you're going to want to flip this handy-dandy file over and use the buff side. And just gently buff the surface of your nails. This again helps prep your nails for the press-ons, gives you a nice smooth canvas for everything to stick to. And then you're going to use this wooden cuticle pusher. And the goal here is to push any cuticle off the surface of your nail so that you have a nice clean nail plate. So you get a really nice even adhesion. Lastly, you're gonna use the included alcohol prep pad. This is similar to that last dip in the remover pot that you would do with a polish manicure. It's gonna wipe away any nail dust that's kind of been kicked up from using the buffer. Also, it's gonna make sure that your nail plate is nice and dehydrated, because you want a nice dry nail plate so that the glue sticks really well. Okay, now you are ready to glue. We have two different methods for gluing on your press-ons, one for long-term wear and one for short-term wear. Insider tip, I always like to use the long-term glue method because then I get to decide when my press-ons come off, but the short-term method is almost the same. So, take off your cap, and here's how you do it. I apply a little bit of glue to the center of my nail. And then I use the glue as kind of a tool to 
get the glue all over the surface of my natural nail. And then I come to the press on, making super sure that the tip is at the top and the ampersand is at the bottom. And I do another thin layer of glue and then I swirl it and get a nice even layer on the back of the press on. And then making sure that I wait at least five seconds for that glue to get nice and tacky. I gently slide the nail on, making sure that the tip is nice and straight. And then I almost kind of position the press on just under the line of my cuticle. And that's gonna give me a really nice, really natural look. And then I'm going to press and hold the press on on my nail for at least 60 seconds to make sure that the glue really, really adheres. You can kind of like move pressure all around the nail like that to make sure there's no like air bubbles or anything. And if you happen to use a little bit too much glue and you notice glue is coming out of the sides, just grab your wooden cuticle pusher and you can just wipe any glue away. You want to avoid getting glue on the surface of the press on nail. All right, let's do the rest. If you want to try the short term method, apply a thin strip of glue down the center of your nail and then do two dots on either side. I gently slide the nail on, making sure that the tip is nice and straight. And then I'm going to press and hold the press on on my nail. All right. Okay, so once you've applied all your nails, um, you can customize your press-ons by shortening them the same way you'd shape your natural nails. We always recommend you wait at least one hour for the glue to fully set. Um, and then also remember that plastic clips much quicker than natural nails, so just go slower than you think you might have to when you're shaping your press-ons. But that is how you apply press-ons. Day five, you did it. We'll see you back tomorrow for day six and enjoy your beautiful press-on Manny.